champagne. Well, proper champagne. Problem. Spence. I shouldn't probably tell you this, but this sparkling wine, I tell you, is so much cheaper and your friends won't even know the difference. Look, I'll tell you what, darling, why don't you just go and get the proper stuff and, uh, I'll tell you what, put it in one of those ice buckets as well, all right? There we go. Ooh, I get to keep the change as well, Mr. Big Spender. Not that there's going to be an awful lot from that. There's plenty more where that coming from. Well, hey. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. <laughs> all right, come on, girls, let's go. See you later, Sharon. Have a nice time. See you later. Really been pushing the boat out tonight. Talk about spending like there's no tomorrow. You see, Sean, it's been flashing fifties around all night. Fifties? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, where does he get that kind of cash from? I think he said something about one of his deals coming off. What, you mean he's actually found a bigger mug than himself? No. Not sure I do either. Darby. Is Spencer around? What? Yeah, well, he's out with his mates. Well, I thought he was down at your place anyway. He's been. Quaff some of my best champagne when he was there, too. Is there a problem? Yeah, there is. Maybe you better give him a call. Well, Alfie, what's the legend? Oh, we need a word, Spence. I've got a party going Quentin, on. Need a kill. Just empty your pockets, will you, Spencer? Do what? We need to check something. Sharon, I'm a young guy on a night out. The contents of my pocket is strictly X rated. It's only your money we're interested in. <laughs> what is this? Am I being mugged in my own home or something? Alfie? Plenty more where these came from. That's what you said to Sam earlier on, right? Well, for your sake, I really hope that ain't true. Spencer, they're fakes, man. Where'd you get them from? Do you remember? Spencer, they're fifties. You don't get too many of these handed out in change. That guy gave them to me. The one I saw the dive and watches too. Just these two? No. Not just them two. They're good. Which is why Sam never spotted anything wrong. So what, are you saying that they're all fake then? Every one of them. So? Like you said, they're good. I still can't pay these notes you gave me into the bank, Spencer. Well, fine then. I'll give it back to you in tens or twenties. I've been getting change all night. Spencer, where else have you been? Nowhere local. Not really. I mean, we went to that, that sports bar the other side of the industrial estate. Oh, yeah. Well, that bloke deserves it. I mean, when we won pub of the year, he never stopped giving me grief, he didn't. Well, so just because Spencer's been had means everyone else has to be as well? Oh, Sharon, he'll make good his money, all right. So nowhere else? Angie's down the sports bar and that's that. Okay, so we went to the, the Imperial Rooms, but that's it. Nowhere else. Alfie, we need to talk about yeah, this. Yeah, not now, all right, Sharon? Listen, maybe you ought to knock tonight in the head. Yeah. Listen. I didn't realise about the notes. Oh, no, of course you didn't. I mean, how could you? Like Sharon said, they're good. I mean, not even Sam knew they were dodgy. Listen, I'd better go tell Kelly and the girls. No. Listen, I'll just say that you got sick or something, okay? Right. Okay. Thanks. Um, I can come back if you want. Cheers. It's gonna give everyone a right laugh, isn't it? Hey, come on. Of course not, mate. My big night out. We can't even get out of Warford. Yeah, who cares about that? Kelly will. And everyone else when they find out. It's so humiliating. Spencer, it's just a bit of dodgy cash, mate. It could have happened to anyone. I know what they think. Fool and his money. Yeah, well. I think you're a fool. Well, then you're in the minority, I think, because everyone out there. They got me labelled for a right idiot. No, they don't. Do you know what the worst thing is? The worst thing is they've been proved right. I mean, it's all right for you. You can strut your stuff and, and talk the talk. Me? I'm the kid brother. The joke of the family. Spencer, I know that is true, all right? None of it. Last night it wasn't. Last night I talked the talk myself. I done the deal. Spencer, I saw this bloke walk out of the pub with the watches, all right? You know, they even fooled me, all right? Yeah. But it was me that he conned, though, wasn't it? It was me he took for the idiot that I am. Oh. Come a cropper then, did ya? What do you think? Get him a pipe. I think he needs it. <laughs> Phil? The Imperial Rooms. Oh, what about Who runs them these days? Same face as always run them. Jack Dalton? Yeah, why? What's the problem? No. No problem. So how much did you spend in the Imperial rooms? I don't know. 
Ten, twenty a ton? Well, a ton at least. Probably more. How much more? <sighs> All right, quite a lot more, but... I don't see what difference it makes. Did you see anyone you know in there? Anyone who might know where you live? What's this all about, Sharon? A face called Jack Dalton owns the Imperial Rooms. Now, Jack is nasty. Very nasty. And he does not take kindly to dodgy money in his till. I'm just making sure it can't be traced back to you, that's all. Well, there's no reason why it should. I mean, we didn't have to sign in or anything. So to them, you're just another punter, yeah? Yeah. Well, best to keep it that way, okay? Jack's never liked losing money. Last person to do him out of if you could ended up in hospital. One busted finger for every tenner Jack was down. So stay away, Spencer. Just in he case anyone remembers you together. together. What's that? I didn't, I didn't see why not, Sharon. I, I was on a winning streak. I was, I was on a roll. So I bought a whole pile of raffle tickets, one of them dodgy notes. Stuck my name and address on the back. When the animal is in danger from lurking predators and from a lack of food supply. These vulnerable young chicks are oblivious to their surroundings. They are reliant on their mother for food and safety. And on some level, this small animal realizes that it, it has a no time choice. when the mother cannot be there. She is off searching for food. And at times like this, the predator often takes its opportunity and inevitably the battle is lost. Afterwards, the predator slips away and normality is automatically resumed. For the mother has no time to mourn. She will know that the odds are stacked against this small creature from the start. Spence, here a minute. Cow. Stick this in the safe for us, will you? What? What's the matter? Weegan. Weegan. Catherine, because I've got this dozy bird holding onto my arm, ain't I? But it'd charm you, ain't you? Yeah, and I'll keep your jaw shut. What? <laughs> well, you leave it open, you're asking for trouble, ain't you? <laughs> I'm not asking you here, I'm telling you. Hey, hey, hey. Not fever for me, not me, Phil. not my family, and hold not my pub. Hold on a second. Phil, just calm down. What, what, what are you talking about? Well, what's this, eh? What's he doing, banking it? No, well, well obviously... Do you, do, you, do you want to explain yourself to Phil? Out. What? I can't trust one of you. I don't want none of you here. What? Out. End of the week. Well, I'll go. Hold on. Phil! Phil! What the hell have you done, Spence? Phil, look, listen, let's be reasonable about this, eh? Let's sit down and talk, maybe over a few beers or, or, or soft drinks, whatever. And, you know, maybe get your mum in and all, yeah? So he rips me off and you want to throw a party? No! No, 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 that's not what I'm saying. Listen, Phil, we've all made mistakes, yeah? Young and stupid. Now, Spencer, he's young and he's very stupid, but more important than that, he is very, very, very sorry. Isn't that right, Spencer? You know, and, and if you think about it, right, Phil, there hasn't really been that much harm done. Listen, please, come on. It, 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 if, you, if you can just give us another chance and let us stay, and, and I guarantee my hand on my heart, right, this will not happen again, I promise you. No. Please, Phil. You know, he, he knows how much you want this. He can see how much Good you need words. it. Yeah, well, I don't need his kind of lot. End of the week, then. No. I'm in so much trouble. Jack Dalton. Oh, you know him? <laughs> yeah. Well, it can't be all that bad, can it? Oh, get Minty to show you the scars. No, no, that's all right, thanks. Big fella like Minty. Yeah, well, maybe you do need a holiday or something. You had to wind Dalton up or something. You flood his club with bent notes, and then you do a runner. You idiot. You do a runner now, you'd be running for the rest of your life. You bloody idiot. <laughs> hey, hey, oi, oi, come on, calm down. Spence, please, calm down, all right? Mum used to say, if you can't pass the buck, then you've just got to hold your hands up, all right? Me? Yeah, listen, this is what I want you to do, OK? I want you to go around and see this Dalton bloke and just... 
and give them what you own. You can't say fairer than that. <laughs> Alfie, I... All right, look, listen, listen to me, OK? Just, just stop crying a second, OK? You go around there and, and you, and you apologise, yeah? Just say sincere that you're sorry, yeah? <sighs> yeah. OK, right, and you just tell him that it was an honest mistake. You can do that, yeah? Alfie, I haven't got the money. Some in the back of the airing cupboard. And then knows where it is. Now come on. Come on. Go and clean your face and go and get yourself smart, all right? I forgive him on that. What? If he loses his voice like he did earlier, Dalton will have his head kicked in before he gets through the door. You might peep around like Dalton, then you gotta tell you what's coming. Yeah, I know that, don't I? All I'm asking is that, they, they, you know this Jack Dalton bloke, you've been around him and I just want to know the best way to approach him, that's all. There ain't no best way. Yeah, we'll see about that, won't we? What, you? You're going to go in there, are you? Give it a bit of that, a bit of smart mouth, talk him round. Some face off the street, he, he don't even know you. You stand less chance than your brother. Yeah, probably. There's half a dozen bits of paper floating around his club with the Queen Vic written all over it. And as long as I'm, as long as I'm still managing your pub, well, as long as I am, it's my responsibility, isn't it? I mean, what are you saying now? I sent Spencer in there on his own. Well, he ain't cut out for that film. Some people ain't. You know, you try and teach them. You, you, you push them this way and that way. Try and teach them the ropes. But at the end of the day, they just... They trust you and they look up at you and they... They hang on every word you say. I mean, you know what I mean, don't you, Phil? What am I going to do with a kid like that, eh? See, Phil Mitchell. Jack. Sweet. I reckon your Spencer's been saving up his pocket money, putting in some overtime on the paper round. What's in it for you, eh? Coming down here. Been a long time. This a special little friendship, is it? They run my pub. Middle age is making you flabby, Phil. Good Samaritan. Conscience. Got yourself a bit of God as well, have you? He's <laughs> <laughs> just a kid. You know how it works, Phil. Yeah. Start making exceptions. And you end up with chaos. Well, uh... Thanks for your time. You tell this Spencer. I appreciate the gesture. So it won't be nothing that don't heal quick. All right, darling. All done. You and Helen met before, Phil. Helen. No. 